The year, 1945. Gasoline was 15 cents a gallon. An average new house cost $4,600. 5,000 U.S. homes had this new device called television, and America's first computer covered 1,800 square feet of floor space. That same year lived a brilliant young man named Ernest Scheller, then director of research at Reynolds Aluminum. Mr. Scheller believed he could make and sell a better aluminum product and set out to do just that. Raising $100,000 in startup capital, Ernie Scheller and two associates opened the doors of Metals Powder Incorporated in Stamford, Connecticut, spawning a company that today is a global leader in the manufacture and supply of special effects pigments in coatings, inks, and plastics. Over the next 17 years, Ernest Sr. and later sons Ernest Jr. and Joseph would guide the company now known as Soberline Manufacturing Incorporated to steady growth through innovation, continuous product development, unwavering customer focus, and unflagging adherence to quality conscious processes. In 1963, the growing company moved to the heart of Pennsylvania's coal country, taking over the vacant Lehigh Coal Company plant. Silverline quickly became a leading supplier of aluminum effect paint pigments to the exploding U.S. automotive industry, in addition to producing specialty metallic effect pigments for inks and plastics. My father was a very honest man. Uh, number one was integrity, and uh, that has carried through the organization uh, from the very beginning to the very end. He always wanted to be in his own business. After the war, World War II, he had an opportunity to uh, go into his business, and he was able to raise enough money to enter the aluminum pigment business. By 1966, Silverline created a separate and expanded technical and products application laboratory in nearby Lansford, Pennsylvania, as the company expanded its product line and set its sights on new markets and customers. In 1973, a new manufacturing location opened in Decatur, Indiana, followed by Silverline's expansion to Europe with a new technical and manufacturing facility along the coast of Scotland in Leven Fife a year later. But growth and success were things that Silverline would become accustomed to. In 1977, new administrative offices would open in Lansford, Pennsylvania, while manufacturing doubled in Decatur. In 1981, Scotland's Silverline facility was awarded the first of four of the United Kingdom's coveted Queen's Award. By 1985, a fourth major manufacturing facility would open in hometown Pennsylvania, followed by the opening of Silverline's new world headquarters in hometown in 1987, the same year Silverline's third generation began as data processing manager. When I was growing up, our family values were the business values, and the most important of those values was that we conducted business, and we conducted our family with integrity. We deal with people honestly and fairly, and this defines our company. 1989 saw Silverline looking eastward toward the burgeoning Asian markets with the establishment of a sales and marketing office in Singapore while still expanding its manufacturing and distribution facilities in the States and Scotland to meet the growing worldwide demand for its high-quality, customer-driven product lines. Both Scotland and Singapore experienced astonishing growth along with the economies of Europe and Asia. Silverline was now a true global player. In order for Silverline to grow and succeed, we must be a global company. We must be located in areas around the world and in countries and continents where our customers are and where our products can be used. The 1990s saw tremendous growth for Silverline, now with Ernest Scheller III at the helm. But some difficult choices lay ahead. In 1997, Silverline was at a crossroads. My brother Ernest Scheller III and I got together and discussed the future of the company. We had a shared vision. The decision was made to keep the company a family business, which is what it had always been and what the goal is for it to continue to be. To this day, Ernie Scheller's dream lives on in his family-owned and operated business, now known as Soberline, continuing his unique legacy of quality, consistency, and innovation to its worldwide customers while maintaining its core values and unwavering commitment to family, employee safety, preservation of the environment, and dedication to the communities in which it operates. Over the years, the Scheller family has been very con committed to quality and their customers and every employee in their families. They're very family-oriented. Through the years, I have known the Schellers to think of the family first. 
now producing and marketing its ever-expanding product lines to some of the world's largest customers on a global basis, the Soberline presence now extends to Europe, Asia, Mexico, Brazil, and China. Greeting for Soberline Asia. This is Michael Lowe. I am the Managing Director for Soberline Asia Pacific, based in Singapore. In 1985, we started sales operation in Singapore. Since then, we have added manufacturing plant and technical center in Singapore. We have also added sales operation in Shanghai. Now we are establishing operation in India. Asia is witnessing an unprecedented growth. It is Superline's strong brand recognition, high product quality, and dedicated workforce, which has enabled us to be the leading supplier of effect pigment in Asia. From its humble beginnings in Stamford, Connecticut over six decades ago, has grown a company that now offers more than 400 grades of specialty pigments for inks, plastics, cell phone and computer casings and coatings to customers on six continents. To further solidify and refine its products and processes, Silverline invested in the state-of-the-art Bell Bell electrostatic paint applicator the standard by which the auto industry now paints cars to test its products in real-world application techniques. In 2006, Silverline formed a partnership with Sigma Technologies in Tucson, a company with a large number of patents on vacuum metalized pigments under the name Sigma Specialty Materials, further evidence of a firm dedicated to innovation and continued product excellence for its customers. Now, with nearly 500 employees worldwide and technical centers in Europe, Asia, and the United States, Silverline has its sights firmly set on the future. One of the things that we are devoting time and effort and resources to is moving into the realm of the architects of light. Silverline's opportunities in the future lie in our ability to meet the growing and varied demands of our customers around the world, being able to design products for them that meet their needs, whether these products are silver or other colors, whether these products are made of aluminum or other materials, the opportunities are endless. So as the world changes, so does Silverline. While its products may evolve and its processes advance, Silverline's unwavering commitment to its employees, customers, associates, and communities will never change. To our valued customers worldwide, thank you for putting your trust in Silverline. We look forward to serving you now and in the future. The future is looking brighter than ever. The best is yet to come. It's Silverline reinvented, a modern statement of our commitment to quality, a shining example of what we stand for, a new image that reflects our forward vision and global leadership.